party of the first part? Do you uh, take this party of the second part? To be your lawful wedded husband? To death do you part, amen? I do. Do you party of the second part? Will uh, somebody kindly tell Brother Holly he can quit playing now? Uncle Newt, the judge says you want to quit during the ceremony? No, no, you tell him go right ahead. He ain't bothering me at all. Do you take this party of the first part to be your lawful wedded wife under the same condition there unto uh, pertaining amen? I do. Then I pronounce you man and wife. Well, you're all over. Wasn't that beautiful? Well, why don't you go on and kiss her? <laughs> What's the matter, Ernie? You ain't scared, are you? <laughs> Gee, Ernie, I, I do love you. fell in the river yet? How could he? He just finished marrying him. He will. <laughs> just give him time, that's all I ask. Just give him time. He'll fall in. I never done a lick of work. I never even tried. My pappy got so sick of work that he just up and died. Oh, let it rain, let it pour. Nothing bothers me. Cause I go right on singing with my banjo on my knee My skinny sister, if she's gone, it gives me awful pain The doggone fool, she took a bath and fell right through the drain Oh, let it rain, let it pour, nothing bothers me Cause I go right on singing with my banjo on my knee Oh, Jeff went in the pigsty once, his favorite hog to see. The pig got up and left, he couldn't stand Jeff's company. Oh, let it rain, let it pour, nothing bothers me. So I go right on singing with the banjo on my knee. Oh, Labner Jones came home so drunk, it really was a fright. He put his poor wife out and then he kissed the cat goodnight. Oh, let it rain, let it pour, nothing bothers me. Oh, I go right on singing with my banjo on my knee. the ceremony's over and the, the bride and groom is won. Well, I got a toast I want you to drink for me. Pour him some more corn, buddy. Who is it to, Newt? To the bride? No, it ain't the pearl. It's to Ernie, ain't it? No, it ain't to the groom either. Who is it then? It's to a tune. A piece of sweet music. Know what it is? That's what it is, old St. Louis blues. I want you to drink a toast to it. Sweetest music there ever was. The time's almost here for me to play it. What in the world are you talking about, New? I'm getting to be a pretty old rooster, you know. Near on to 70 year old. But there ain't but one more thing on this earth that deep down in my heart I really wish I could have before I go. 
And that I've been wishing they had for a long, long time. And that's your, your grandbaby. Little fella to carry on my name. Once I had six children of my own, Ernie's the last of them. All the rest of them got drowned in the river. The way my pa went and his pa, and the way I'm going to go when my time comes. But right now, I don't care. Outside this old boat, ain't got a thing in the world to pass on down to my grandbaby, except the sweetest piece of music I know. That's what I've been saving the St. Louis blues for. That's why I want you to drink a toast to it. Because when you drink to it, why? You're drinking to my grandbaby. Uncle Newt, look like Judge Tope is just about ready to fall in the river. Does look that way, don't it? Fish better fish him out, buddy. Well, for a land girl, she is right sweet. For a land girl, she is. Well, forever, Molly Ota. Why ain't you outside with the young folks? That's my business. Listen, Leota, I hope you ain't aiming to make trouble about Ernie. Ernie? What's it to me who Ernie Holly marries? I mean, it's going to be hard enough on her getting used to the river and river folks without having somebody pick on her, too. <laughs> that ain't the truth. You're both crazy. Then why didn't you wish her well? Why didn't you welcome her when Newt rode her across from the land? Why don't you go do it now, Leota? Sure. I can just see myself. Just plain mean, that's all. <laughs> the trouble with Leota is Ernie didn't want her. That just goes to show how much you know about it. There never was a time I couldn't have had Ernie Holly if I wanted him. All I had to do was that, and here I come a-running. There was more I could have it now, this minute. Anytime I want to say the word. What makes me sick is the kind of wife he got. Snivel and little white trash. So sweet butter wouldn't melt in her mouth. I do. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. But you can't fool me. I know her kind. There's just as much meanness in her as... There certainly is. But I wasn't aiming for it to come out just yet. I came to help. <laughs> My lamb, Pearl, you're the bride. The party spur you. What was you doing, listening? A little. If you'll lend me an apron, I'll... Why don't you ask her what she can do? Why don't you ask me? Well, what can you? Oh, anything you can. And be polite besides. That's telling her, Pearl. That's telling her. And why not? You was a hired girl, wasn't you? Leota. Listen, Miss Leota. I came here wanting to be friendly. I was aiming to make Ernie's folks my folks. But I'm going to be honest with you. I was a hired girl. More than that, I never got beyond the fourth reader in school, and I... I can't do much more than read and write my own name. But I'm here to tell you that I can cook better than you, I can love better than you, and I can fight better than you, and... Any time you don't think so, just let me know, because I'm still gonna be here right on my husband's boat. I'm sorry, lady. Uh -huh. Don't ask me anything. Just tell me you love me. Tell me truly, do you? I love you more than anything on earth. And it don't matter to you if I was a hired girl, does it? It's Leota. No, no, don't say anything. Just tell me. It don't matter, does it? Come over here where they can't see us. Pearl, honey. If you love me like I love you. I do, Ernie. Well, then there ain't another thing in the whole wide world that matters, because you're all I want. And you're, you're gonna want me always? Till the day I die. Then hug me, Pat. Kiss me. Oh. 
Again. Listen. Everybody knows that it's just a muddy river, but it seems like heaven on high. When the moon is shining bright, let me dream away the night. Where the lazy river goes by, go away, let us be. Just the river, you and me. Everything is still all along the Mississippi. Ain't no one as happy as I. Oh, I never want to roam. Let me live and make my home. Where the lazy river goes by. The lazy, lazy river goes by. Kind of scared you river folks, didn't I? <laughs> well, I wasn't aiming at you. Just shooting up in the air. But the way you all jumped sure was funny. <laughs> we ain't used to gunfire. What kind of a shindig is this, anyhow? Why, Ernie's got married. Well, I'll be dead blamed. And he never invited me. Oh, my land, Mr. Slade. Whoever thought any of you city folks would want to come to a shanty boat wedding? Well, as the fellow says, <laughs> better late than never. How about a little thing of that corn? Oh, buddy. Who run he marry? A land girl from Tennessee. Pretty? She is to us. Well, I guess I'll have to congratulate Ernie and kiss the bride. Where are they? They're here, but Mr. Slade. Yeah? If I was you, I wouldn't. You wouldn't what? Well, on the river, why, no one kisses the bride except the groom, and, well, we... We ain't used to it, and if I was you, why... I don't think Ernie's gonna mind, so long as it's me. No, no, we don't want no trouble with him. Maybe if we let Ernie handle this way. Is this your new wife, Ernie? Yes, sir. Pearl is Mr. Slade, the man that buys all our fish. Howdy, Mr. Slade. You sure picked yourself a pretty one, Ernie. Yeah, I guess I did at that. Am I going to have the pleasure of kissing the blushing bride? Well, that's up to her. She surely ain't going to stand off her husband's big customer, is she? It's all right, Ernie. Hmm. Smart, too, ain't she? Just a minute. I changed my mind. Well, she said all right, didn't she? She said it. I didn't. Ernie, if it's liable to cause trouble, I... If Ernie wants to make a living on this river, it ain't likely to cause any trouble. Well, you just ain't gonna kiss her, that's all. So you better go. You said all right, didn't you? Where are you, Mr. Slade? Where are you? Buddy, get the hook quick. We'll get you, Mr. Slade. Holy jumping cat. Well, if you ain't the dumbest man. He couldn't man, help it. He could have knocked somebody else in, couldn't he? Buddy, get the skip out, quick. Ernie, I'm afraid. If he's unconscious, he'd be drowned in shore. Hey, where are you going with that skip? None of your business. Mr. Slade! Mr. Slade! Where are you? Oh, Mr. 
Mr. Slade! He ain't here. I've heard of a lot of wedding nights, but I'd be dog if I ever heard of one like this. Did you hear what Judge Tope said? What was that? He said if they don't find him, it's murder. What'd I tell you? A dozen rivermen on board boat, and then he has to knock a landman overboard. What on earth ails him? My gosh, in the last 10 years, we must have had 40 fights and at least two killings on these boats without ever getting mixed up with the law. Now along comes Ernie and... Here they come now. We've been a half mile downstream, and he ain't nowhere. You look on the jetty? Yeah, he ain't there neither. He's clean gone. Party broke up already? Honey. What are we going to do, Ernie? Listen, honey, I got to get out of here. I got to go away. I'm scared of that land court. I don't trust it. From what I hear, they just do hang you as look at you. I'll get packed. Now, wait a minute, honey. I got to go alone. I got to hide out. But I'll send for you just as soon as I get some money. Do you understand? No. No, I don't understand. I don't understand anything that takes you away from me. We're married. You're my husband. Whatever happens to you happens to me. And wherever you go, I go. But, Pearl. What are you going to do, son? Can't take her with me, Paul. She's got to stay here. You ain't figuring on leaving right now, tonight, are you? I've got to. Listen, son. The night your ma and me was married, that was a serenade the folks give us. St. Louis Blues. I've been waiting all these years to play that tune for you. You ain't got to go now. They ain't going to miss him before morning. And there ain't no other reason on earth why you can't stay here tonight. I'll watch for him. I'll sit up all night on guard. I won't shut my eyes. Doggone it, son. You're my last chance. All right, Paul. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Where did you go? Oh, I don't know. You can get on a boat, maybe. Or I'll find a place for us. It won't matter how long. No, I know you will, honey. We ain't only just married. We love each other, too. And the way I feel about it, there ain't anything in heaven and earth that'll ever be able to do anything about that. We're just that way. I'm sorry for what happened, you know? Oh, hush. I know you are. Nothing matters now but just us. Uncle Newt. I'll be dog and be dang. Hold him, buddy. Hold him. Hold him, buddy. Excuse me. It's too late now. The police are here. Go through that window. I'll hold the door. Let me go, honey. Say you love me just once more. Till the day I die. Open that door. In the name of the law. Goodbye, honey. All right. Just well shoot at a catfish. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up, get away. <laughs> Ernie can swim underwater from here to Memphis. But what'll he do, Newt? Where'll he go? Oh, he'll swim over the Tennessee bank, catch that down train to New Orleans. Be due along in a little spell. Do you think he'll make it? Sure, it ain't fur. But it ain't Ernie that's worrying me. What makes me mad is the way I've been looking forward to this day. And now look at it. You here on the boat and Ernie swimming down the Mississippi. Well, I'll be double danged and be dogged. Where is he? Where's Ernie? Is it really you, Mr. Slade? Truly? Who does it look like? Where's that son of yours? And you wasn't drowned? No, but it ain't his fault that I wasn't. If it hadn't been for that little air, you sucked me upstream of that lost jetty. Upstream? I... Are you I... aiming to tell me you floated upstream? Ernie! What ails her now? 
Mr. Slade, I hate to do what I'm going to do now because, you know, it just means more trouble. But when I think of the misery you brought on the boat tonight and on top of that you floated upstream, well, I just ain't got no choice in the matter. Hello. Look out. Coming home soon. Goodbye, Ernie. My sales. My sales is in France, you know. That's where the war was. Ernie better keep his nose out of that war. He ain't in it. It's over. That one's finished. He ain't quite started a new one yet. Think a little sip of this corn might help you? Wouldn't be at all surprised. You write him that trouble with Mr. Slade's all over? Judge Tope did. Uh, right now. <laughs> there ain't a thing in the world like corn for putting oil in your joints. Well, if there is, I ain't found it. Guess you don't know you got a call around your boat. Well, who on earth? Whose is it? The caller's. Calling on me? Pearl. You gotta remember this, Newt. Six months is a long time for a husband to be away from home. Especially when the husband's a groom. Mrs. Holly, I've been selling these enlargements up and down the river for the last five years. And if that ain't a genuine work of art, then I've never seen one. I don't know if it's art, but... It surely is the prettiest thing I ever did see. Well, of course, you'd know better about that. Oh, huh? well, we hang it. The nail's up there. I'm making that corner the sitting room. Sitting room? <laughs> sitting room, that's clever. Yeah. That's very clever indeed. Sitting room, huh? <laughs> that's very clever. When did you say he was coming back? Oh, I, I don't know. We ain't heard lately. Oh, just a minute. Well, that's about the first thing we ever had on this boat that looked like it was worth six dollars. Oh, uh, <clears throat> look, little lady, you don't have to pay cash for that picture unless you want it. What do you mean? Where'd you say the old man was? He's over on the Tennessee side, Pecan Point. Well, now, uh, <clears throat> look, here's the idea. See, I got a little art studio down in New Orleans, and sometimes when business is good, why, uh, <clears throat> I can use a retoucher to help out. A retoucher? Yeah. I don't even know what that is. A retoucher. You know, a retoucher is one who, uh, who retouches, that's all. <laughs> oh, it's easy to learn. All you have to do is just put color in the enlargements, you know. Pink in the cheeks and blue in the eyes and gold in the hair. You know, gold like yours. Gee. You really think it's golden? Hey, listen, little girl, you could be in the Follies right now and nobody knows the difference. Take it from me, you're the slickest article on this river and I've seen them all from Memphis to New Orleans. Why, with your looks, you could pose for pictures for art galleries and museums. Baby, <laughs> you're all right. You could uh, work out the course of the picture. Besides, what do you got to lose anyway? How do you know if your husband's ever coming back? You don't want to spend the rest of your life in this shack, do you? Give him his money, Pearl, and let him get. Before I beat his brains in. Oh, it's all right, Newt. I wasn't going to go. Now, don't get me wrong, Mr. Holly. I was offering the young lady a strictly legitimate proposition. 75. I'm strictly on the level. Yes, sir. That's 85, not 95. 95. Thanks. Now, wait a minute. Now, now, wait a minute. I'm going. But don't get the idea for one minute that anything that you've said... Go on, say it. You hadn't ought to do that, Pearl. What was I doing? Nothing. I told you I wasn't going to go to New Orleans. And what was you listening to him for? I'll tell you why I was listening to him. I was listening to him because I wanted to hear what he was saying. About my cheeks and my eyes and my hair. Nice things about him. And it, it had got so it didn't matter to me who said them, just so somebody did. I, I wasn't even thinking about going away with him. I, I don't hardly remember what he looks like, but... 
what he was saying was was what I've been wanting to hear. But you and his wife, poor, you love him. Well, who says so? Maybe I'm sick of waiting for him, sick of getting postcards from him. Maybe I will go to New Orleans after all. Why not? But Pearl, honey... Why not, I say? Do you think I've been happy here with everybody laughing at me? Land girl, land girl, can't keep her husband. Well, maybe I don't want to keep him anymore. I've done without him for six months. Maybe I'll make it six years or six... Home I now. can do without him forever. What'd you say? Ernie's coming home. Ernie's coming home? You see, he ain't forgot us. We're still his folks, and the river's his home. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> dear, dear, honey. Hush up now. <laughs> I'm sorry for what I said, Newt. I didn't mean it. I'm willing to wait. It's all right. I know how it is. It's kind of hard for me, too, waiting and waiting. But then, I've been at it so long, I guess I'm almost used to it. I ain't playing, you understand? Just practicing. It's him. Ernie! It's a journey home. Run, tell him, buddy, a journey. Ernie! Ernie! He's back. Ernie. Ernie, my darling. How do you like that? Ernie, it's the prettiest thing I ever did see in my whole life. Is it genuine silk? Well, if it ain't, then I've been gypped out of two bucks. That's real Italian silk. I bought it in Genoa in Italy. That's where Cristofo Colombo come from. He's a man who discovered this country, you know. I reckon he thought he'd done something big, too. Oh, but you don't think so, huh? Great big place like this, how could he have missed it? <laughs> For you, Judge, Cognac, from La Belle, France. Ernie, you oughtn't to. Don't worry, <laughs> all of <laughs> This is for you, buddy, from Havana. Look, a handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> and get a load of this. Oh, ain't that pretty? But didn't it hurt? I hope to tell you it hurt. The whole arm swole up like a balloon. And get this one. Oh, the idea. Pearl and blue and green, surrounded by bleeding hearts and red. And all for me. They speak a different language in every country. No two alike. No two alike? No two alike. In France, they speak French. In Portugal, they speak Portuguese. In Italy, all you hear is Italian. They all speak at the same time. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody listens. And do you speak any of them? Si, senora. <laughs> well, I'll be dead blamed, Ernie, if you don't beat anything I ever see in my whole life. Oh, you, you pick it up. Well. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're going. <laughs> Ernie. 
That getting jet of me, ain't it? Oh, you ain't changed a speck. You're just like the river. Look just the same all the time. We grew up together. Me and the river. He's getting so he looks like the river sometimes. Why, right, it's my home. I was born on it and I'm going to die on it, like all the hollies. Guess I wouldn't be able to sleep nights if I thought I had to end up my days in the grave on land. Hey, what are you talking about dying for? You're good for 20 years yet. 20? Why, I'm good for 40. <laughs> well, good night, son. Good night, Pa. Good night, Pearl. Good night. Well, good night. Never a part again. Never again. Listen at her. Ball on the jack. Annie. There ain't been a minute since you left I wasn't lonely in my heart. I... I seem like just half a person, and I... I couldn't live without you. I feel it, too. Like I was just beginning to live again. Don't change, Annie. I won't. I can't. I love you too much. I... I've been so afraid that all this traveling might do something to you, and... Maybe you wouldn't be happy at home anymore. Never again, honey. I had all the traveling I want. I've been in six different foreign countries, not counting the United States. All I want to do now is settle down and make myself a home for the rest of my life. In the West Indies. The West Indies? Yeah, a place named Aruba. Ernie? You ain't thinking of going away again, are you? But this is a new colony development. I don't care what it is. I ain't gonna let you go away. Not again. Well, I'm talking about all of us, not just me. All of us, the whole family, don't you understand? Oh. oh I'm sorry, but you scared me. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> this place, Aruba, is building up, see, like real estate. And they need workmen. Here. Take a look at this picture. How do you like them palm trees? I already tore off the coupon and sent for the book about it. Oh, Ruby. It's a pretty name. Yeah. I got to figure it out this way. I'd go on down there and get settled and draw, say, about a month's wages, and then I'd send for you and Pa. And... Just a minute. What was that list? Well, I'd go on down there first and take a look around. No, you won't either. Oh, but I figured on sending for you. You ain't gonna send for me because you ain't gonna go away and leave me. Not again. For one short month? Not for one month, one week, or one day. Now, Pearl, you gotta be reasonable. Sure, I gotta be, but you ain't. Now, listen, you ain't gotta take that attitude. Oh, but Ernie, I can't let you go away again. Don't you understand? I, I've got to have you here with me. I can't stay here by myself anymore. I just can't. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I guess I know how it's been, and it ain't never gonna happen again. From the bottom of my, my heart, I'm, I'm sorry. I... I didn't mean to be mad, Ernie. I understand, honey. I understand. But, but my idea is this. I ought to go down there first in case... Ernie! Are you going to let me tell you the whole idea or not? You don't have to tell me anymore, because I've heard enough to know that I ain't going to stand for it. Oh, you ain't going to stand for it. That's what I said, and I'm tired of arguing. If you leave, I leave. Have you gone plum out of your head? No, I mean it, just like I said. I'll be dogged and be dang. Well, who's supposed to be the husband around here, me or you? It don't matter to me which is which. I'm sick of being left. I'm sick of the whole caboodle of you. 
I waited six months, and the first thing that pops into your head when you get back is bang. Where will I go next? Jumping catfish. Can't we have no peace around here? You, you keep, keep out, out of this. this. I know any, but doggone it, I got a If you it. take one step off this boat, just one, I'm going for good. Oh, what is that so? Well, we'll just see about that. Ain't no woman gonna get bullheaded with me. I warned you, Ernie. Doggone it, Ernie, now you listen to me. I wasn't I... aiming to leave right now, but now I am. I'm ordering you to stay here until I get back or send for you. Do you understand? I told you what I was going to do. I ain't going to let you go, Ernie. Get out of my way, Paul. Oh, let him go. Get bullheaded with me, will you? Ernie, stop. Wait. Ernie. <laughs> bullheaded. We never will have no family at this rate. Sorry, Pa. The sooner she learns who's the husband, the better it'll be for all of us. Two beatenish people running around every which way. I'll be dog and I'll be dang. It's uh, what you call retouching. You know, you put a little pink in the cheeks and a little blue in the eyes. That job and you it... offered me, was it real? Huh? Oh, well, sure, but you All right, I'm I... taking it. Come on. Yeah, but you can't. Your husband. I ain't got a husband anymore. Well, Come on. Hey, just a minute. Up. Mrs. Holly, are you sure you don't want to give this idea a second No, thought? give her a twist. Great day in the morning, girl. Where are you fixing to go? New Orleans. I'm going to be a retoucher and a good one, too. Jumping catfish. A retoucher. Where'd she say she was going? New Orleans. That's a fur way. Sorry, Pa. I guess I lost my temper. I ain't gonna leave Pearl. Can't. I love her too much. Dad, blame right you can't, because she ain't here for you to leave. She gone. Gone? Gone where? Is that kicker? That's her. Her and that New Orleans fella, Warfield Scott, headed for the Tennessee bank to take the down train. You mean she's run away and left me? Where you going now? After them. New Orleans? Wherever they are, I'm gonna catch them and break both of their dad blame necks. Now, where's he going? New Orleans. It's quite a distance. New Orleans. Yeah, I'm gonna get my family back together somehow. Dad blame people running every which way. Man waits 20 years for grandbaby. You gonna roll down there? There's water all the way, ain't it? Well, it ain't but about 500 miles at that. the Latin Quarter, nearest thing in this country to Paris. Strictly Bohemian. Well, here we are. A little bit different from that river shack, huh? Of course, most of these furnishings are my own. You know, little things I picked up here and there. Oh. Place needs cleaning. I'll have to see about that. Like it? Oh, I guess it kind of takes your breath away at first. What I mean is, it's uh, kind of different. Not very formal, of course, but it uh, represents my taste. Sort of expresses my personality, if you know what I mean. Of course, you'll have to get used to it, but it'll grow on you, so don't worry. Oh, uh, if you want to wash up. This is my room. You'll find the sink right around there. Let it rain, let it pour, nothing bothers me, for 
I go right on singing with a banjo on my knee. Well, what's the matter? Mr. Scott. Yes? I'm, uh, I'm afraid I've got a confession to make. Confession? I've deceived you. I've misled you. Misled me? I'm sorry, Mr. Scott. Honest, I am. I didn't mean to do it. I was so mad with Ernie. He was so bullheaded. I, I, I didn't know what I was doing, but I can't go through with this. I'm sorry. Honest to goodness, I am. What, you mean you're not going to stay? I can't. I, I just can't. Well, this is terrible. This is unfair. I know it is, but I can't help it. I've got to go. Well, now, wait a minute. Won't you reconsider? No, I, I couldn't. Please. Well, this is a pretty hearty do, I must say. I suppose it doesn't matter to you about the position you put me in or the amount of kale I laid out. Well, that's what's been worrying me. All the money I cost you, and it's all my fault, too. You know how much I've sunk already? Ten dollars. Ten dollars? It's nearer twelve. Cost me seven bucks with a railroad ticket alone. Oh, that's terrible. A cool eleven dollars and eighty cents. Just shot. Listen, Mr. Scott, if you'll just let me go, if you won't try and stop me or anything, I'll pay it all back to you. Honest, I will. Eleven dollars and eighty cents? It's the first thing I'll do. Well, then I guess it'll have to be all right. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm, I'm awful sorry. Honest. Eleven eighty. Eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Uh, how long will it take me to make eleven dollars and eighty cents? You mean washing dishes? Yes. Eleven day and eight hours. Where are they? Come on. Come in. Just a minute, stranger. I'll be right with you. Where is she? Just a minute, my friend. Where is she, I said. I don't know. I don't know where she is. Oh, you don't. Then suppose I just have a look around. Now, look here, Mr. Holly. This has been a very unfortunate misunderstanding. Now, I'm a perfect gentleman, I hope, and I've been strictly on the level with everybody. The fact that somebody mistook my idea and got the wrong impression places me in a very embarrassing position. However, I'm broad-minded, and I'm willing to let the whole thing drop, just as though it never happened at all. What'd you do with her? I don't know. She, she ran away. I'm sorry, buddy, but I'm just going to have to beat the stuffing out of you. Now, don't do that. Give me a chance to explain. I don't deserve this. I never cared to share my devotion. You said I'm leaving my French fries. Nothing of the thrill in store. I never dared to show my emotion. Now I'm about to start. Honey, I have never felt this way. There's 
something in the air. <laughs> There's music in the breeze. I never saw a star so bright. There's something in the air. Though I find there's danger in your eyes, the thrill is new. I've been blind, but now I realize what love can do. I feel it everywhere. So whisper, you'll be mine tonight. Sailor, afraid some of it's gonna evaporate. Now beat it, will you? Now is that nice? Especially since me and my husband own the joint. Sorry, but I ain't feeling good. Did you run out on you? Just the heck I knew. Can't make up my mind. I can't even decide whether I want to hug her and kiss her, or break her dull darn neck. All I know is I feel terrible. Fill it up this time, will you, Jack? One trouble in the world with my wife, she's bullheaded. Just plain bullheaded. Why, she's the most bullheaded woman. Well, if it ain't the Mississippi River catfish. Oh, How are you, catfish? Eddie. Why, you're the very man I've been looking for. Oh, you want to ship again, eh? That's it. How about it? Who done this? Don't argue, get a mop. But look! Get a mop, will you, dear? <laughs> hey. You got a berth for me? You sure you want one, Catfish? You got one? Shove it off tonight for Havana. Let me think. Stand back, boys, and give the man room to think. Sure. <laughs> Let the Catfish <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you new gal, get them up, quick. what it says. Warfield Scott. That's it. Thank you very kindly, sir. Mm. All right, kids, beat it. Come on. Now, now the head a little bit to the left. That's it. Not too much. Uh -huh. Now, don't forget to smile. Yeah, hold that now, just a minute. Just a minute. Just a date. There. Hold it. Come in. Well, what do you want? Want my daughter-in-law? Well, she ain't here. She's gone. She's been gone for two weeks. Guess you better take a look around, anyhow. Now listen here, Mr. Holly. This is becoming very embarrassing to a man of my instincts. Excuse me. And I'd like to have you bear in mind that I'm every inch a gentleman, and strictly on the level with everybody. I'm willing to let the whole thing drop, and no hard feelings on either side, I hope. The fact of the matter is, your whole family's got me a little mixed up in this affair. Have they, son? Yes. From the very beginning, I've been terribly misunderstood. 
I guess you have it there. But I'm broad-minded, and I've been very patient, too. Yeah, son, but you hadn't ought to took my daughter-in-law away like that. What are you gonna do? I hate to do it, but I just gotta kick the living daylights out of you. Oh, now wait. Your son already did that. Good for Ernie. You, you wouldn't hit a man with glasses. No, I never have yet. Not twice. <coughs> oh. Be careful of my camera. one before? Been eating to home all my life. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, Pappy. I'll look after you. Well, don't you want to park that, uh... uh... This is a contraption. Oh, is that what you call it? Well, don't you want to park it? Wouldn't want nothing to happen to it. I don't think anything could. Here. Hungry? Yes, ma'am. Just whooped him in. Give me an appetite. Whipped him? What for? Didn't like him. Oh. oh I see. I'll have some meat and potatoes. Anything to drink? Just some corn liquor, that's all. Hello. Howdy, son. What do you call that? It's my contraption. You like music? Some of it. Well, if you want to wait around a few minutes till I get some of the wrinkles out of my belly, I'm going to play some. Because I'm feeling mighty low. When I'm low, it's music I need. River music. Fix him up the thickest steak in the house. Some French fries, sliced cucumbers, and plenty of biscuits. Si, patrona. Goodbye, Miss Ruby. You're not quitting. Well, I was only staying down here till I paid off a debt I owed. Oh. Well, what are you going to do? Go back to the country? Back to the river. Gee, Pearl, I'm sorry to see you go. But I guess your folks would be glad to have you back again. And that, ma'am, is something I won't know till I get there.
like you feel worse than I do. Oh, hello, Mr. Bean. Oh, I didn't know it was you, Pearl. What's the matter? It's that song. Anything I can do? No. Nothing anybody can do. My, my whole life's messed up, that's all. It is? Move over. I don't feel so good myself. I feel awful. Yes, I got a hunch that I'm going to be out of a job before the night's over. That's terrible. I just can't figure out the American public. Don't seem to know what it wants. When I came to the Creole two months ago, I was terrific. I killed him. No. The trouble with Ernie and me is we're bullheaded, both of us. There's no other word for it. Terrific. Just plain bullheaded, that's all. Just during the last two or three weeks, I, I can't figure it out. The only possible way. Listen, do you think that I ain't as good as I think I am? Is that possible? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Well, that'd be awful. There's no other way to figure it. I mean about this evening. An old fellow comes in the cafe with a daffy kind of contraption. Even if I knew where he was, I, I don't know what I'd tell him. What? I said I don't know what I'd tell him. He, well, he probably wouldn't have me now anyway. I mean, if they like him better than they like me, then I ain't as good as I thought I was. Because he's nothing but an old river rat with one of those homemade contraptions. Nothing but a bass drum and a lot of stuff from cowbells to bottles. Did you say a contraption? If I ain't as good as that. Listen. Next one be my last one. 
because you're getting away past my bedtime. <laughs> hug you. You mean you... You ain't gonna whip me? Whoop you? Why, Pearl Sugar, I'm gonna keep you right by my side to find the other half of this team. You think I give up about them St. Louis Blues yet? Well, I'm gonna play that serenade for you too or bust. <laughs> no, no. Still, all along. 
along the Mississippi Ain't no one as happy as I Oh, I never was alone Let me live and make my home Where the lazy, lazy river goes by Where the lazy, lazy river getting in that sign, didn't I? Oh, they wouldn't dream of letting you go. No. I might have thought that once. Pearl. Yes? Aren't you tired of waiting yet? If you knew he was coming back, even if you had any idea that he still cared for you, I wouldn't say anything, but... Oh, what do I know? What can I say? It looks like when it comes to Ernie, I... I really haven't got good sense. I don't have to tell you how crazy I am about you. You already know it. Ever since that first night we sat here and talked, it's grown on me until now. It's about all I can think of. It wouldn't hurt him to write to Nude anyway. I know I ain't got much to offer you, Pearl. I wouldn't even have a job except Nude put up such a holler about it. Outside of loving you, there ain't really but one thing I can say for myself. Maybe I ain't much when I'm here, but I'm here and always will be where you are. You got more than that, Chick. You've got all the things I wanted in him. You love me, you're sweet to me, and you... You think about me. You're the man I ought to be in love with. Don't get the idea I'm gonna be a flop always. With you, why can't we go away, Pearl, you and me? You mean not wait for them? They can't keep me down, honey. If we went to Chicago, I could show them. And I'm not asking you to love me, you know, until you want it yourself. All I want now is to do things for you that would make you happy. That would make me happy, too. You mean that, don't you, Chick? Will you come with me? I'm glad to see you. Did you miss me? Yeah, but not very much. Chick, this is Buddy. Howdy. Hello. When are the rest of them coming? They ain't no more. I doubt that. Gosh, I've been rowing up and down the river for a week looking for you and Newt. This sure is a mean place to locate anybody. I never saw so many folks in all my life. Buddy, it's good to see you. Newt will be crazy. Well, if you ain't a side... Never mind about me. What are you doing here? I come down to bring you the mail. I rode down. It's quite a distance. Here it is. It's from Ernie. Ernie? Yeah, it says, Hello, having a fine time. Docking at New Orleans the 16th. 
steamship Yucatan, goodbye, Ernie. Great day in the morning, buddy. You ain't learned to read, have you? No, Leota read it to me. Leota? Say, is the picture of him? Let me see it. I'd like to get a look at this galloping ghost. Is this him? Why, well, I know that kid. I remember the night he shipped out of here. The 16th. That's tomorrow. I'd be dogged if it ain't. Okay, it's a party for him. A surprise party. Now all we gotta do is not lose any of the rest of you until then. <laughs> Give me a triple bourbon. Time for your next number, Pappy. I'm gonna give a new one just to sort of celebrate. <laughs> since I heard that contraption. They ain't nothing like it. Go on, buddy. All us other Hollies have. Say, can he do something, too? Oh, sure. He sings and dances. Come on, Sonny. You're elected. Come on. <laughs> was on the shanty boat, the fish were swimming by. A great big catfish came along, right in his eye. Oh, let it rain, let it pour, nothing bothers me. Cause I go right on singing with a banjo on my knee. Everybody join in the chorus. It really was a pity what became of Susie Gregg. Her pappy had a shooter cause she fell and broke her leg. Oh, let it ring, let it pour, nothing bothers me. Cause I go right on swimming with a man go on my knees. A cow stood on the railroad track, the train was coming fast. The train got off the railroad track to let the cow go past. Oh, let it rain, let it pour, nothing bothers me.
along, mate. Yeah, Ernie Holly? Yeah. You remember me? Oh, sure. You're the lady that owns the cave, ain't you? Yeah, that's right. I got a surprise for you. For me? Yeah. Over to the place. Drop by with me, will you? Just for a minute. Sure. Why not? Hello, boy. I've been looking everywhere for you, Lassie. Very chic. A very chic ensemble. You're on your way someplace else, aren't you? Well, nothing that can't wait now that I've seen you again. But I have an engagement. You're not trying to get rid of me, are you? Yes. Oh, I know what you're sore about, and that's why I've been looking for you. About that money. I was checking up on that later, and you know what I did? I overcharged you. It was $10.80 and not 11 so I owe you a dollar. But never let it be said that a Scot don't pay back. Hold your horses, son. You're going to get a great kick out of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'll be.
Judge gave him twenty dollars or twenty days. You want to pay it? We we ain't exactly in no position right now. Can we see him? Hey, Charlie, take him downstairs. Five minutes. How you feeling, son? What does it matter? You see, Pearl? Guess she's plum gone this time. After the cops taking you away, the party kind of broke up. What a dumbbell. But how was I to know how it was? All I could see was that fellow Scott. If I ever run across that guy again, I'm gonna take him apart and and beat him to death with his own arms and legs. Yeah, that'd fix things up just fine. We ain't got any money to get you out of here, you know. No, you took all the money we had to pay for what you busted. I never seen a man as mad as that Mr. Jules was. Pa, you and Buddy better go on back up the river and forget me. I ain't worth bothering about. Oh, no, son. We just sort of figured we'd grub around the waterfront till you served out your time here, and then we'd all go back together where we belong. If I ain't made a mess of things. Well, you can't blame Pearl this time. Oh, I ain't blaming her. I ain't blaming nobody but myself. If you see her, tell her, will you? I'd just like for her to know. You can take him with you, too. You're out, Sonny. Uh, but who done it? A lady paid her fine. She just walked in. Great day in the morning. I, I come over from the hotel just as quick as I could. Hotel? What are you doing in one of them things? What are you doing in New Orleans anyhow? Well, I, I read Annie's card saying he was coming back, so I, I just came over hoping to meet him. A gentleman friend told me where you was. Thanks, Leota, but you oughtn't have done that. Twenty dollars is a lot of money. Oh, gee, Annie, I, I'd do anything for you. got to meet uh, peculiar situations with uh, peculiar methods. You ready, Arnie? Sure. Why not? Leota? Hurry up, hurry up. Come out, Leota. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm waiting for you. Well, forevermore. How do you like this for a wedding gown? Well, ain't it pearl? Mm, it used to be pearls. Oh, but I don't think that's right. I mean, wearing pearls kimono for a wedding dress. Why not? Well, I, I don't know exactly, but... What do you think, Judge? 
Well, it's a kind of a peculiar question, too. But uh, I guess it ain't any more peculiar than any other part of this mess. How about it? This is kind of digging up a bit. All right, Newt, let her in. Ain't you in Chicago? Do I look it? Where's that chick fella? He's waiting on the bank. We're on our way. Where's my Kimona? Your Kimona. Where is it? That's the one thing that was given to me, and I'm going to keep it. Where is it? Leota's got it. Leota? Got my Kimona? She's getting married in it. Oh, that... Party of the first part? Do you uh, take this party of the second part to be your lawful wedded husband till death do you part? Amen? I do. But not that kimono. Her brain is her head. What's she doing? Shuck out of it. Just a minute. Uh, listen, Sister Pearl. You're going to shuck out of it or not? Are you going to stand for this, Ernie? Make up your mind. Shuck or be shuck. <laughs> Be here till morning, you know. Now, you and her... Now, listen, son. 
Ain't no one in the world can say I ain't been patient about you two. I've been patient so doggone long that I don't care whether you love each other or not. But I got a personal interest. You can just leave me out of it. Son, I'm sorry for what I got to do now, but... You know, but... Well, I... ah! Stay here. 